Alright, Shalom. I want to start off by saying Kwahala Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Bashem Rakwa Kadash. Double honors to Yad, apostles of Great Millstone that rule well. And peace and salutations to the Yakim out there on the highways and byways that's noise in this world abroad, all around the world. Now, I just want to talk about this current um, caravan. You know, you got the Northern Tribe. You know, which um, from Central America, you know, wanted to come up to Egypt. Which, you know, even though we are under the curses of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, um, that, you know, that we're suffering under these curses, that they're fleeing their country just to come to another, they're fleeing their country just to come to another third world, just to come to another third world, um, world country. Because what they don't know is that America itself is um, getting ready to collapse. It's going to experience a severe economic um, meltdown just as their countries are facing. You know, America is no different than these other countries. It may be it may look OK now. It may be all good and gravy right now. But, you know, prophecy is coming to pass. Things are speeding up, you know, not to mention that America's got beef with all these other um, countries out there. In particular, Iran, you know, North Korea, Russia, China, you know, tensions is rising, rising. And for it, um, and for um, the tribes that are um, that are located in Central America, you know, South America, trying to come up here for a better life. They're not going to receive that better life because, you know, prophecy is now coming to pass. And Yahweh Shai is getting ready to um, overthrow this devil and put, um, and set us up into power. That's when, you know, our people will get their fair share. You know, that's when our people will receive a better life. You know, when we're in power, they're not going to receive this better life, you know, with the devil in power and trying to flee from their land to just come to an um. <laughs> Another third world country, you know, another land that's really don't give a damn about them, you know. Trump is saying, you know, they don't want, you know, the people, um, our people in here, you know, that they don't want them in here. You know, they're criminals. It's an evasion. But little, but, you know, America was evaded, you know, by you, by you damn devils, you know. Because this land once belonged to the North American Indians. And who the hell is he to say that this is an evasion? When you, when you so-called white people came over here that, and slaughtered billion, um, uh, slaughtered the Gadites, you know, which is the tribe of Gad, the North American Indians. You know, slaughtered them, gave them smallpox, you know, kicked them off their land, put them on reservations and try to sell back land that's already theirs and Trump want to call this an evasion like these devils got some nerve but um going back to what I'm saying is that you know you you tribes from central south america you know y'all y'all fleeing another country just to come to this country and this country is going to get it the worst out of any other country you know and let me just um get a priest up here um to start off Um, this is the book of, um, this is the book of Isaiah chapter 30, um, first, first, um, first two that walk down, um, that walk to go down into Egypt and have not acts out of my mouth. The strength, the strength in themselves in the, in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt, you know, that's our people right there, you know, particular all the tribes, but um, mainly I'm focusing on the, on the tribes of Central, of Central America, you know, because they believe that by coming here that they're going to receive a better life, you know, they're going to have special treatment and, um, and that, you know, that they're going to, you know, have it much greater than that they had it um back in back in their country 
But little do they know that America's on the break of destruction. You know? So by them coming over here to flee in that, that country and and to come to another country, you know, that's um that's another third another third world country, you know, because America is on the verge of being becoming another third world country. Though it though it don't though it don't seem like it now, it seems like everything is all good, you know, every, everything is prospering, but it's only a matter of time before you know that major terrorist attack happens. And everything just turns upside down, you know? And we talk about this, and we've been talking about this for years. And this thing can happen any minute, you know, any moment, you know? So it only takes just one attack and on one major um, scenario terrorist attack to happen for everything to just totally turn upside down. Just look at the situation um, with the Boston bombing, you know? After that incident happened, what did um what happened? You know? The state just shut down all major, you know, all ma all major transportation. If you didn't have a car, you know, if you didn't have a car to get to point A to um point B, you were um you were screwed, you know? You was you was out of luck. You know? If you relied on public transportation to get you from point A to point B, you was out of luck. Because there was no public transportation or no other uh, means of travel, you know, going. There was no public transportation by the T, um, T for, to get you from point A to point B, you know. If that's what, you know, you relied on, you know, public transportation to get you from point A to point B, you wasn't getting to work. And a lot of people was, um, was just um, out of luck, you know. It affected a lot of people. From that one incident, that one terrorist attack, you know, nobody was going nowhere. So just imagine, you know, this major attack that they're going to ha that Esau has planned now, you know. A lot of people lost a lot of money that day, you know. They couldn't get their paychecks, you know, they they businesses were slow, you know. Businesses lost. You was dramatically affected by it. Imagine this: this coming major um ter terrorist attack that Esau got planned now. After this attack, that's it. You know, your life that you once knew isn't isn't coming back anymore. So for our people that's trying to um, you know, f for our people you know from Central America that's trying to come up here, thinking that they're gonna have a better life and that they're gonna um be sustained you know they got another thing coming to them because that's not going to be the case real soon because imagine no food no water no transportation everything is going to be totally taken away and this situation could happen right it's, it's just right around the corner so you want to leave one third world country to come to a next one you know, it's, it's going to be devastating, especially for our people, because we are in the time of, um, we're, out, we're out the horizon and we're in the time of Jacob's trouble. But let me continue on. Therefore, shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. You see, the, the strength of Pharaoh should be your shame. Who's the modern day Pharaoh right now on um, DJ Trump? You know, DJ Trump is in office and he's um and he's just totally bashing y'all um um our, our people you know the the northern tribe from central america you know just totally bashing them you know calling them criminals saying that they're MC, <laughs> ms16 gang members you know so the strength of pharaoh is uh, is um is your shame you know and let me read on and the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion, you know, the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion, you know. Because really, once you get here, um, it's just going to be a totally different thing. 
you know? Especially the times that we're living in now, you know? Back then, you know, it was all good back then, but these are different times now. Things are changing now. The times that were um that was good back then is, is not the same as the times now that we're living in now. Why? Because the Lord is getting ready to destroy America, and America will be destroyed by a way of thermonuclear missiles in the near future. And let me read on. For his princes were as Zoan and his ambassadors came to Hassan. They were they were all aminished of um of a people that could not profit them, nor be and help nor profit, but a shame and also a reproach, you know. That's going that, that's talking to, that's going into um our people right now and these times. Cuz ultimately America is not going to profit you nothing. But total, you know, persecution, you know, discrimination and oppression. You know? That's what America is going to profit you. It's not going to profit you any good. Going out to um the northern tribes of Central South America, you know, it's not going to profit you any good, you know, coming over here and try to build a life over here. You know, and it's only a matter of time before, you know, because of Donald Trump, he's already showing his horns already. He's already showing his horns and he's revealing himself, you know, to um. Especially to the um, northern, northern tribes of Central South America. You know, he's revealing how much of a devil he is. And ultimately, the remaining, all, all the remaining tribes that are already on this land already, you know, they're going to find out how much of, the, of a, they're, they're already realizing how much of a devil this, this devil is. You know, how much of a devil this so-called white man is, especially DJ Trump. You know, the tensions are there. So when when this devil gets elected again, you know, which he would, when he does his second term, he's going to really show his horns. Then the gloves and that and the hat is really going to come off this devil. You're really going to see how much of a devil this man is, you know. In the second term in office. You know. And it's only a matter of time before, you know, before um, this, this guy just, you know, totally just just bring, brings this country into World War Three. Because all around the world, these um, these nations can't stand this devil, can't stand the United States of America. You know. These other nations is already chanting for America's downfall. And um, and America's utter destruction. These these other nations are chanting now of America's downfall and utter destruction. So it don't make sense for you know you northern tribes of Central South America to try to come up here to try to think that you're gonna make it in America when America is about to go down the toilet. And with that, I want to say all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Bashem Rakar Kadosh. The law is to the head apostles of Great Millstone that rule well, and peace and salutation to your down um, and peace and salutation to the Yaki out there on the highways and byways, snows in this road abroad. And I want to say shalom.